Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are participating in July's What Would You Make um, collaboration. <laughs> Pardon me. I've got two projects today. And our host is uh, Brenda from Rustic and Lace. Co-host is Country Lily DIY Decor. And our other host is DIY Craftaholic. So on to DIY number one. I have a, uh, a friend here um, that lives in my community that um, she has, she's basically going, uh, starting her cancer treatments and whatnot. And her husband... Um, I hired her husband to fix my roof and I took this little piece of scrap wood from the trim that he was do uh, used on the inside because I needed the outside and the inside repaired because it was leaking. Um, so I took a piece of scrap wood from what he uh, had done in my home. Uh, her husband is amazing, and he he busts his tail every single day to make sure that she has everything that she needs. So, I thought it would be a cute I or a sweet idea to make her an inspirational piece that she can um, that she can use for inspiration and and motivation through her treatments and all of that. So that's what I'm working on here. And I believe that is um, Waverly's Ocean. I took and um, used some painter's tape to... Uh, sorry, guys. My brain is totally overloaded this week. Um, anyway, I took the painter's tape to uh, make sure I had some clean crisp lines because I wanted to make just a small border around it. Her favorite color is blue so that's what I went with and um, I just did uh, put the start of the border on there and while that was drying I took some solo wood flowers and um, painted those one thing I love about those uh, the solo wood flowers is you can paint them, you can um, take and, and put some paint in warm water, mix it up really good and just dunk them in and they'll absorb the color There's they're very versatile um, you can buy them already colored or you can buy them like this um, natural color and color them yourself however you you choose to do so. Um, it gives you the flexibility to make sure that when you're adding flowers to a project that they match the other colors and whatnot that you have going on in the project. So I'm working with a rose here and with that I just took and went around the edges and kept the inside white. And then I took a light, I had mixed some of that um, ocean with white and made a little bit lighter shade of that and did two more. I only used two of those flowers on the project. Um, the third one seemed too much when I was putting it together, so I only used the two. But here I, um, I took and swapped the tape around so that I had, could make the border on the ends. Did the same thing there and just painted it. But, so I would like to um, get back into talking about the collaboration for a moment. So um, the description or the, the playlist link will be in my description box. And I will also link the host's channels in my description box as well. So when you get done with this video, 
I invite you to go watch uh, the rest of the playlist and, you know, let them know, um, you know, that, that you're coming over from mine. It's, you know, it's really helpful uh, when anybody who views our videos likes, subscribes, comments, shares. Um, so if you enjoy um, the content that I'm putting out, I invite you to subscribe. And speaking of subscribing, uh, my last video, I think it was my last video, um, I had said that I was going to do a giveaway at 500, and I have 500 subscribers now. So I am going to do that giveaway. So I will announce the winners next Saturday. It'll be on my community tab. And in uh, to enter for that giveaway, um, let's see, I got to come up with a word. Let, um, I know for that word, um, I want you to comment with, um, actually comment with what inspires you and that will get you entered into the giveaway. So here I'm taking, and I've got one of those little um, laser cut butterflies. I believe I got those from Dollar Tree. They come in a little, um, a little box that has like 48 or something different cutouts in them. Um, so that's where I got the, the butterfly for this. And you notice that I put Mod Podge on the front of my project there. Um, I'm going to decoupage um, a little inspirational graphic on there. Uh, I went and created that in Canva and got, you know, I found, found a inspirational quote that I put on there and added it to a graphic in Canva so that I could make one whole graphic with that on it. And then uh, sized it, printed it out, printed it out, and sized it down. Or well, sized, yeah, I sized it and printed it. God, it's been a rough week, y'all. My, my family, we've got some things going on that um, have kept me extremely stressed and busy this week. So crafting is definitely being my salvation. Unfortunately, my brain still isn't working on full capacity and I can't talk half the time. So bear with me. Anyway, here I'm taking my little mini press and using it to reactivate that Mod Podge that I laid on the block so that it would adhere the uh, graphic to it. And that's what I've got so far. I, I'm checking to make sure that I don't have any bubbles and stuff in there. And just kind of taking, I think, I don't know. I've got something on the edge there, I guess, that I'm messing with. So I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge. And I'm using the um, the matte finish Mod Podge. I don't like that super glossy um, sheen on most of my my projects. I use the glossy occasionally, but I prefer the matte. And so that's what I used. Now here, I'm, oops, I'm kind of showing you the graphic on there. So now I'm going to take some jute twine and just kind of um, put that around the, the edges. It's going to cover up quite a bit of that blue background or blue border. 
but I just didn't like the sharp edge of the graphic on there. So I'm using the jute twine to kind of soften that up a little bit. You'll still see some of the blue border, but um, the jute twine just kind of gives it a little bit more of a softer feel around it, if that makes any sense. Anyway... And unfortunately, I was, wasn't was thinking, I didn't get any um, lifestyle photos of it. I actually had to take a screenshot from the video for the, um, for the photo, because I was doing this like the night before he was supposed to come over and finish up the inside of the roof. And I wanted to make sure that I gave it to him to give to uh, his wife. So um, I got all excited and forgot to take pictures. But she loved it. Um, and she said that, you know, it was very meaningful to her and that it would definitely help her draw some inspiration. And some motivation to push through through her treatments. So here I'm trying to figure out the placement of where I wanted those uh, flowers. And my original thought was to put the rose in the middle and each of the other light blue on either side of it. But um, I got this one on there. And then I went and it's trying to, and it's like, no, nah, that's too much. We'll keep just two flowers. So, glue the butterfly on the front. And a bow at the corner. I just did a basic shoestring bow. I didn't want, um too much on there um so i glued that while i turned down the tails a little bit and then glued that up to the corner and i did go back in um there's one end of that that's not stained from where he cut it um when he came over to finish the rest of the roof i used uh some of the stain to stain the, the end there where he had cut it so that it all matched. And there we have it. On to project number two. So this one, um, I kind of had this vision in my head and this didn't come out as well as it didn't come out as well as I was hoping it would. Um, I may try to recreate it or a similar thing um, where it turns out a little bit better. Um, I was doing this last night and the video is due today. Uh, like I said, I've had a, a very rough week and evidently with this particular um, project, um, I just, yeah, <laughs> I, the, the create, the creating and the crafting is definitely therapy for me when I'm having any kind of stress going on in my life. But unfortunately, sometimes the stress does affect how things come out or, or, um, how I execute them. So, um, I kind of suffered a little of that and it didn't come out like I wanted it to it you know it's something I'll use but it's not something that I would ever try to sell I norm a lot of the stuff that I do on on my channel I put in our painted tree booth but this is not going to be one of those uh <laughs> the execution did not come out as well as I had hoped and I had a lot of struggles with the glue letting loose and I had to re-glue it and it it's kind of not as nice, neat, and tidy as I would like. But that's okay. 
it gave me something to, to do and kept my mind off of the stress. It served its purpose as far as the creating part of it, and I will find a purpose for it in my home. And later down the line, it'll be a reminder that it helped me persevere through the stresses that I was going through at the time. So there's always that. And here, um, I had taken some of that air dry clay and used uh, this mold. It is a silicone mold, but it's really kind of stiff. <laughs> so I couldn't bend and pop it. <clears throat> Pardon me. I couldn't bend and pop it like you would some of the uh, softer silicone mo molds. So I just had to very gently pry it out of there. Um, I used my thumb on the inside very lightly just to kind of help bring it away from the mold. I did that um, twice and the mold itself was a little bit shorter than the planks of wood that I was using. So I had to also do a makeshift piece to add on. And I'm not, not totally happy with the way that that um, came together either. But it, like I said, at this point, it was something, you know, that I was able to use as I was, you know, creating and whatnot to help keep my mind off the stresses. And I will definitely still use it in my home. It didn't turn out horrible. It's just not, it's not the quality that I would put in my shop or in my painted tree booth. And that's okay. Not everything that you create comes out perfect. Most of the time it can be fixed. And honestly, I think this probably could be fixed if I wanted to take it apart and fiddle with it anymore but I didn't have time for it before I had to get this video done so we're working with what we got and that's okay so I took these cutting boards and um with some wood glue and a little bit of hot glue for the instant hold and attach that on there and see here it seems like it's going really well and then you know later on and I had picked it up and all of it came apart so I had to re-glue everything again and it got kind of messy it just you know I could have scraped off all the other glue before I tried re-gluing it but I was on a timeline because the week made me wait till the night before to do this project, so it's okay. Get it lined up um, and stuck on there on the other side. And then I turned it around and realized that it overshot. <clears throat> so I had to pry it apart, hit it with... Uh, some more hot glue in those spots and just kind of hold it there and made sure that it was where it needed to be lined up and, and flush, which I was not, when I had to put it back together after it came apart, I had all kinds of issues with getting it perfectly flush. And then I took some popsicle or not popsicle sticks. Um, some of the, I don't remember if they're the jumbo or the large um, craft sticks that I got in a, at Walmart, and I marked each end of them. Now, um, my miter shears don't seem to want to cut through this very well, so I cut those off camera. Um, I actually just got a new toy. I got like a little mini table saw, and I used that to cut those. And I was worried because of the... the the blade the way it was I was worried that it was gonna like just kind of mangle the end of it but it cut through it beautifully uh I did have to sand a little bit because there were some splinter it was some splintering in there but it didn't it, it cut it pretty smooth other than the the splinters which you kind of get with these uh 
craft sticks, no matter how you cut them, it, they splinter a little bit. So here I'm taking and painting everything white. Um, I painted both sides. I painted the ends. I painted the inside of the cutting boards as well. I did not have time to can, uh, finish painting the inside on the sides and whatnot. But that I will do. I just didn't get it on, uh, get it done before I had to get this taken care of. But you'll see, I just take and paint all around. And I don't make you watch me paint the entire thing. I just paint, um, show you me painting the one side and, and the outside of this cutting board. And then, um, just a, another, uh, well, a reminder too that, um, we are, also on social media and we invite you to follow us on our social media pages we're on facebook instagram pinterest tiktok and our website also has like a crafting group chat that um you can become a member on our website and participate in that i haven't posted in it much lately um i'll start working on that as as other things in my life slow down a little bit. Um, I work a full-time job and I have my craft business. So, um, I wear many hats. Um, I have, you know, I have to create content for all of my social medias, um, create content for this channel, which, you know, honestly, if I could just create content for this channel, that would be great, but you know, uh, because this actually allows me to craft. Uh, but I, I inventory clerk on the, the accountant, the social media manager. Uh, I do all the, the listings for our Etsy page our go imagine page our web page. Um, and of course we also have our painted tree booth. So, you know, um, my job and my business keep me pretty busy. And when life throws monkey wrenches at me, like it has this uh, last couple weeks, um, it, it kind of throws a kink in, in getting stuff done <laughs> that I need to get done for my business. But family comes first and, you know... I know that all of our followers and, you know, subscribers and everything, I know that, that they understand the family part of it. And so they always give me grace when, um, something comes up that I can't post as frequently or, or whatever. So I thank you all for that, for giving me grace when it's needed. So here I got these rub-on transfers. I got them off of Amazon. If I remember, I will put the link to these in the description box as well. Um, I thought they were really pretty. It's purple flowers and butterflies right up my alley. You know, I love me some, I, I love me some butterflies, as you can tell by my business name. And I love purple. It's my favorite color. So, this was a perfect thing here. And these rub-on transfers are, um, these are really easy. Uh, I know that some of my other videos, I've used some rub-on transfers um, that were a little bit different. Um, they were really, really sticky. These are from a different uh, place, and they're, um, they're not as, the carrier sheet and everything is not as sticky. So it's a little bit easier to remove um, all of the rub-on transfers that I have are absolutely beautiful. It's just a little bit um, different in the execution and what you have to watch for. This, These were really easy to um, remove the carrier sheet from. And I just took and, and burnished it on. 
And I will seal these. I just didn't do it on camera. And here we have the final reveal. And I'm not sure. That was really strange. It showed a weird graphic at the beginning. But anyway, here is the final reveal of both projects. And I thank you all for watching. Have a great day.